David Heyman witnessed the emerging threat of Ebola from its origins in the rainforests of the Democratic Republic of Congo, then Zaire, in 1976. In fact, fear was so great that one of my first assignments was to go out to NASA to collect the isolation unit that had been used for the astronauts when they came off the moon. Arriving at the village of Yambuku, the center of the outbreak, Heyman and his team knew little about Ebola. They named the virus after the local river. Ebola was considered a major threat back in 1976 because nothing was known about the virus. It was known it, re it was related to, or it appeared to be related to, a Marburg virus, which people understood, science understood basically. Since then, scientists have discovered that fruit bats carry the virus and pass it on to primates, including humans. There was an outbreak in Gabon in 1996 when there were 18 hunters who killed a chimpanzee and all 18 of them somehow during the butchering process became infected, took the infection home and infected family members, but it didn't spread further. Professor Heyman led the global response to the 2003 SARS virus outbreak in China. The disease killed more than 700 people, but was contained. It spread into developing countries in Asia, and it was rapidly stopped there by a global effort. And this was a true coordinated global effort where scientists were working together behind the scenes, exchanging information on almost a daily basis. In contrast, Heyman says early appeals for help with the current Ebola outbreak were ignored. There wasn't a robust enough response to stop it while it was still rural, and now it's spread into urban areas where it's more difficult. There are indications that the Ebola education campaigns in West Africa are helping to halt the spread of the virus. New medicines are being fast-tracked. Professor Heyman says another area of research should also be prioritized. To determine how best to keep patients alive by maintaining their internal balance of electrolytes of chemicals so that they can stay alive long enough for their own immune system to take over. The World Health Organization says close to 6,000 people have died from Ebola in West Africa since the outbreak began. Professor Heyman is optimistic that the spread of the virus will have been halted by the beginning of the new year. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.